Hey guys, and welcome back to the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing quick, beginner-friendly patterns that are perfect for gifting or decorating your house during the holidays. Today, we're going to learn how to crochet this Santa hat wine topper. If you're excited about the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. For today's tutorial, you are going to need a medium weight yarn in the colors green and white. I'm using Bernat Super Value. You will also need a five millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. We're going to get started with the color white and create a slip knot and chain nine. Half double crochet into the third chain from your hook. So to half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now half double crochet in each chain across. For row two, chain two, and this chain two does not count as a stitch, and turn your work. Now we're going to half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch across. So to work into the back loop only, you're gonna look at the top of your stitches, and the loop closest to you is the front loop. The loop furthest from you is the back loop. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into that back loop only. So you're going right in between the V and catching that back loop only. You should have seven stitches in each row. Now for rows three through 21, we're just going to repeat row two. So chain two, turn, and half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch across. Now I say to do this through row 22, but it might be different for you depending on how big your bottle is whether you're making this for a wine bottle or a beer bottle even. Most wine bottles are generally the same, but some are different. So you'll wanna make sure that you measure the circumference of your bottle, and you'll want to make this band one inch shorter than the circumference of your bottle. So for example, the bottle that I'm using is about 10 inches in circumference. So I'm going to make this band about nine inches long. At the end of round 21, or once you reach your desired length, you're going to fold your work in half and slip stitch these two rows together. So to do that, you're going to insert your hook into that first stitch and then catch the first stitch from your foundation row. Yarn over, pull through, and through the loop on your hook. And just continue slip stitching down the row. Now go ahead and tie off your work by cutting a long tail, yarn over, and pull all the way through and tie into secure. So now you have the band for your hat, and you can flip it inside out so that the, ste so that the seam isn't as noticeable. Now go ahead and weave in your ends. Once you've finished your band and you've woven in all of your ends, you're going to attach your new color at the chain two of the beginning of one of the rows. So we'll hold that right there. Grab your new yarn and create a slip knot. And this yarn is going to be what makes your hat. So you can make it any color that you prefer. So create a slip knot and pull it through that stitch, chain one, and single crochet into that same space. Now what we're going to do is single crochet around the top of this brim. So there's no exact space that you're supposed to work into. The general rule is that you can place one single crochet at the end of the first row 
and two single crochet at the end of the next. But you'll want to make sure that the number of single crochet that you have around this brim is more than the number of rows it took to make this brim. So for instance, I have 21 rows of this brim here. So whenever I single crochet evenly around, I'll want to make sure that I have more than the number of rows. In my case, I'm going to single crochet 33 stitches all the way around. Once you reach the beginning of the round, slip stitch to that first single crochet. Now chain two, and we're just going to double crochet in each stitch around. This chain two doesn't count as a stitch. To do that, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. At the end of round two, you're going to slip stitch into that first double crochet of the round. And for rounds three through 15, you're going to chain two and double crochet in each stitch around. So we're just repeating row two. Now again, these amount of rounds really depend on how tall your wine bottle is. If your wine bottle is shorter, then you can decrease the number of rows and head straight to the decreasing section to make the top of your hat. If it's taller, which I think mine is the tallest of the tall, then you'll just add some rows. Once you reach the end of round 15, this is what your work should look like. For round 16, we're going to chain two, and double crochet two together into the next two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's your first double crochet two together, also known as a decrease. Now double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Double crochet two together into the next two stitches. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Now double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And you'll just repeat that pattern around. Double crochet two together, then double crochet into the next two stitches. Repeat this pattern until you reach the last five stitches. Double crochet two together into the next two stitches. And then double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Now slip stitch to that first double crochet decrease of the round. You should have 25 stitches at the end of this round. For rounds 17 through 19, you're going to chain two and double crochet into each stitch around. So I will meet you at the end of round 19. At the end of round 19, slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet of the round. And for round 20, we're going to repeat round 16. So chain two and double crochet two together into the first two stitches.
Now double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Double crochet two together into the next two stitches. And double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And just repeat that around until you reach the last five stitches. Double crochet two together into the next two stitches. And then one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. And slip stitch to the first double crochet decrease. Now for rounds 21 and 22, you're going to chain two and double crochet in each stitch around. And at this point, you should have 19 stitches in each round. At the end of round 22, slip stitch to the first double crochet of the round. And for round 23, we're going to chain two and double crochet two together in the first two stitches. Then double crochet into the next two stitches. Double crochet two together. And double crochet into the next two. And repeat this pattern around until the last three stitches. Double crochet two together. And double crochet into the last stitch. You should have 14 stitches at the end of this round. Now slip stitch to the first double crochet decrease. Now for rounds 24 and 25, we're going to chain two and double crochet in each stitch around. So I will meet you at the end of round 25. At the end of round 25, slip stitch to join and chain two for round 26. Double crochet two together and then double crochet into the next two stitches. And repeat this to the last two stitches. So again, double crochet decrease. and then two double crochet. And double crochet decrease into the last two stitches. Slip stitch to join. And for rounds 27 through 30, we're going to chain two and double crochet in each stitch around. And at this point, you should have 10 double crochet in each round. So I'll meet you at the end of round 30. Now for our last round, round 31, we're going to chain two and double crochet two together five times. Now slip stitch to join and tie off your work. So leaving a couple inches to weave in your ends, cut your yarn, yarn over, and pull that strand all the way through, and pull to tighten. Now once you're finished with the top of your hat, you're going to weave in your ends, and cut your yarn. And now we have to make a pom-pom for the top of the hat. I purchased a whole set of these clover pom-pom makers and they are my absolute favorite for making pom-poms. So to make the pom-pom for this hat, we're going to use the smallest one, which is the pink one. And I'm going to show you quickly how to use it if you've never used it before. So this is what it looks like. It has these two flaps that you can open up 
and same on the bottom. We're going to lay our yarn on top with both of these flaps lined up evenly and we're just going to wrap around the pom-pom maker. And you'll want to keep wrapping until the center starts to be more flush, so not curved like it is now. Once you start to fill it up, you're going to want to end on this side here. Turn it over and see how it's folded over onto these. You don't want that. So you're going to push it over so that it's all in the center, like that. And then you're going to fold it down and then turn it so that you're facing the other side and bring your yarn in between these two and then start wrapping on the other side. Again, flip it over to make sure your strands aren't lying on either one of these sides, and then we'll fold. So this is what it should look like. Now cut your strand of yarn, and now we're going to insert our scissors into this hole here and cut along here. So whenever you do this, make sure that you have some super sharp scissors. I usually like to use embroidery scissors of some kind or sewing scissors because they're sharper but these I think will be small enough. Okay so that's what it should look like and then flip it over and do the same on the other side. Now make sure you have all your strands cut. Then we're going to grab another piece of yarn and we're going to wrap it through the top here. Make sure it's even. And then we're going to tie a knot. So we're just tying a knot, making sure that it's going through the center of your pom-pom. And then tie a second knot. There, pull extra tight to make sure it's secure. Now you can lift the flaps. And then pull it apart. And there's your pom pom. So it looks a little frilly, so we're going to cut it to make it more even. there you go. So now you have your pom-pom that you can attach to your hat. I'm just going to use my tapestry needle to stick it on the inside of the hat. And then I'm going to do the same with the other side, but I'm going to make it so that the strands are a little bit next to each other so that I can tie them together. And then weave in my ends. And if you have a tapestry needle with a larger eye, you can just weave these in together. There you go. Now you have your wine bottle Christmas hat. Just make sure to weave in all that, all ends and you're finished. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to crochet a Santa hat wine cozy. Tag me on Instagram at Sigoni Macaroni or inside the Facebook group with all of your makes. And remember that over the next few days, I'm going to be sharing a quick beginner friendly giftable pattern for the 12 days of crochet Christmas. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. I'll see you in the next one.